Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and we are again back with another Salesforce flow scenario. So if you have uh, watched our previous video, you have seen that we have created a record triggered flow that eventually is sending the email to the account owners whenever the opportunity amount is exceeding certain amounts certain numbers like 50,000 or 60,000 or maybe uh, 100,000, something like that. And one thing that was there in the re uh, previous uh, scenario or previous implementation was that we were not actually using the email template. We were using the text template that we created in our flow. And because of that, our email was not uh, looking that good uh, the email uh, body was not that much uh, appealing for the users for the end users right so what we are going to do is we are going to enhance the same flow in this video with the help of an html email template okay so before we dig dive into the implementation please if you have not subscribed the channel subscribe it press the bell icon share with your colleagues Help us to spread this to the world so that uh, we get motivated to create more and more videos. Now let's quickly deep dive into the implementation. For the demo purpose, I have already created an HTML email template and assuming that you all know how to create the HTML email template. This email template, which you can see in your screen, I will be sharing the code in the pinned comment of the YouTube video. You will be having the access to this uh, email template. You can see I have got some uh, header over here. I have got some footers uh, here. Then I have got certain uh, button for opportunity link and some other information about the opportunity over here. And I have added some uh, hard coded text over here. You can also modify it as per your business need. Before we go, we can utilize this button called send test and verify merge field then you can select the related to record you can select opportunity and select any opportunity let's say i'm selecting some random opportunity and you can see here every single thing is populated here i got the high volume opportunity alert the name of my uh, the, the name of my opportunity, what is the amount for that uh, opportunity, the details about that opportunity. If I have this link as well. And uh, if you click, it will open the opportunity, but it is failing here because it's trying to open the opportunity in the same link. So, this is the email template we will be using. Now, what we will be using is we will be basically creating an email alert. And we will be using that email alert into our flow to send the email. So let's quickly navigate to the email alerts in the setup box, search for email alert. You will find the email alerts under workflow actions. Click on continue if you are presented with the screen. And then we need to create new email alert. And for the description say high volume opportunity email. So I am I have added high volume opportunity email to account owner. What is our object? Our object is opportunity. So select the opportunity object from the drop down email template. Let's select the email template. The email template which I have created is sitting under unified uh, sorry unfilled public classic email template. And the email template is basically if I search for high I get this high volume opportunity alert. And then here it says who is the recipient? Is it a user whom you want to send the email or is it a account owner? You can see here right it clearly says account owner or do you do you have a email field any email field on the opportunity object you want to have or you want to send it to a related lead or contact owner? Or is there any lookup field on your object that you wanted to utilize and put it into your 
uh, into your opportunity record you can do that in our case it is account owner so we will directly select account owner and once we select account owner from the recipient type you will see here for available recipient we get the account owner we are going to uh, add it to the selected recipient section for the additional emails you can add up to five emails to whom you want to send the email right so i want to add my email which is uh, email to case i want to send the email so that i can showcase you and then save it so you have created this email template and this is the email template we are going to use in our flow so let's go back to our flow i have already kept open the flow which we created in the previous video if you have not opened please go ahead open that flow because the flow is already active i am going to say save as new version we will need to create a new version for the flow and here we are using saying that send an email alert right we are using an action here what we will do is we will say click on plus sign and search for send email alert earlier we have used send email as an action this time we are using send email alert so we will say okay send email alert it says nothing to show here because our flow was created before we created the email alert and i have not refreshed this screen so let me first save this flow first then i will refresh this page reloading it and after that okay the email alert has been gone that's fine we'll click on plus sign again we will select send email alert and you can see now i am getting this one email alert which we have created select this and i would say the same label now this time we just need to select the record id that's it and what is our record id that is opportunity id we don't need to do anything we don't need to specify who is going to receive who is the what is the data what information we are going to see every single thing is defined into your email alert in future you wanted to change something you go and change to your email alert your flow will remain intact you don't need to make any changes and you are done okay now we need to remove this one so before we delete this let's add a fault path and this fault path okay yeah then what we will do is after adding the fault path go to this action which is ac0 to post to chatter and click on cut element and paste it into your new fault path you have created so every single thing will be coming to your email alert fault path now we can go and delete this send email alert and save it so now what we have done is we just created an email template we created the email alert we modified our flow to utilize that email alert now it is time to debug the flow click on debug i'm saying created gin point gold sla click on run and you can see the email has been sent the dark blue line says that the email has been sent to the user let's activate the flow and now let's get back to our opportunity i'm going to clone this opportunity which i had earlier opened you can try to create a new opportunity i'm going to change the account this time and i would say i should be having account called pantherschools.com and i will say salesforce integration course i'm just putting some hypothetical number over here okay making sure that the amount is greater than 50000 the condition we have added stays i would say negotiation review the probability of conversion 90% now and if i go ahead change the description and save it so this time the email should be sent to the account owner as well as to the static email which i have added in the 
email alert. So let's see if the email has came to the inbox and yes. You can see here the description, uh, sorry, the subject of my email is now a new volume, a new high volume opportunity alert, the name of account and the amount, uh, the opportunity amount. You can see here, this is how our email looks like. This button doesn't look good over here, uh, especially the content of the button. That can be basically changed uh, if needed. For now, for the demo purpose, I'm not going to change anything here. And if you click on view opportunity, it will try to take you to the opportunity record. Because I am not logged in into the Salesforce org in this uh, browser window. That is why it is asking you to log in first. Otherwise, it will take you to the opportunity record. So that is how you can leverage the email alerts to send the emails to the uh, intended recipients. And you are going to save all these details. So this is it for this video. Thank you for your time. And uh, before you go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Thank you.